okay so in this video we will be discussing about um, basic algebra so how what is algebra what is is um, basic concepts no? basic concepts and how we could um, uh, and how we could use algebra in our uh, study especially if you are taking up um, engineering no? okay so let's have first the definition of algebra no? so algebra is the study of mathematical symbols and the rules for manipulating these symbols it is a unifying thread of almost all of the mathematics no? so from the definition itself we could say that um, uh, algebra no? is a study of mathematical symbols no and the rules of manipulating those uh, these symbols no it is also the um, the most um, useful no? useful um, branch of mathematics which um, which usefulness um, goes beyond its own um, concepts no we could use algebra in other branch of mathematics no in calculus in geometry no um, whatever branch of mathematics has its roots on algebra or in some capacity utilizes algebra no so what is really what we meant by mathematical symbols no? what is that how how we are going to uh, see that way no or how we are going to uh, to interpret no especially if you will go back to the definition algebra also involves manipulating those symbols okay so the very, the very first symbol of we are going to go with our um, mathematics no the very, very the very first symbol that we are that we managed to encounter or we have encountered in our study of mathematics is the numbers itself no numbers okay so we have two common types of numbers or numerals to be exact so we have the roman numerals and we have the arabic no okay so the roman numerals will involve the symbols this one this is one this is two this is three and this is four so on and so forth while the arabic which we commonly use now will have the symbol one two three four five no so in manipulating these symbols or these numbers we um we ut utilizes arithmetic no arithmetic so arithmetic involves uh, the four basic operations no four basic operations no? so the four basic operations is addition subtraction and multiplication and addition okay. okay so if we are going to combine the numerals no numerals for example we have this one the the arabic numeral for one and two so one and two so we, we will form a new number which is which we call as 12 no? and we know that that the value of 12 is um, a dozen or 10 uh, we, 10 plus 2 so that is um, how we we interpret the symbol 12 now in algebra it also utilizes mathematical symbol but the mathematical symbol will involve letters and letter and each letter has its definite value for example if we say um, let a equal to 2 no then b equal to 3 okay so if if we say a plus b equal to c so we could uh, uh, see that one that c will be equal to 5 because as we know from this from this um from this statement itself so a is equal to 2 have that one not two then b is equal to three so plus three then two plus three is equal to five and we could say that for this statement c is equal to five 
Now, this one is what we call now as a algebraic equation. No? As we go on with our study of uh, mathematics, especially going uh, further to our core, uh, to the study of engineering, we could uh, we will be bombarded or we will encounter uh, many algebraic equation no? for for electrical um, engineering student you will encounter this one no? i equals to v over r so this is ohm's law we could also uh, we could encounter also in our study of trigonometry this one the pythagorean theorem which also involves algebra then also for our study of geometry so the the um, area of a rectangle no area is equal to the length times the width so we got these are all algebraic equation no so that is how I, that is really the concept of algebra we use symbols to uh, we use symbols to represent numbers and by and by using those symbols we could now do another um, another mathematical operations no by that symbols and we could have it um, easily manipulated because of algebra no okay so we have here the basic rules and operation no? basic rules or the basic operations for algebra no? so we have here the basic operations so first we have the if we have here so let's uh, let's have here our symbol is a so if we have a statement a plus a plus a plus a so this will be equal to for a okay so this is um, sometimes called as um, combining like terms no or adding we could not say adding but it's combining because what if this is a the sign is negative so this is combining like terms so we have four terms which are all represented by the symbol a so if on how to combine this one you need just to count how many a or how many symbols uh, this uh, similar symbols you have for example for this one you have one two three four you put the four then you multiply a uh, it by a so four a okay so how are we going to apply this in reality for example our a is equal to two no so you have you have a plus a plus a plus a is equal to four a Okay, then we substitute uh, the value of a, which is 2, no? 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. Then for this one also, we substitute the value for a, which is 2, no? So we have 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, that will be 8. And we have 4 times 2, that will be 8. So the statement is correct. So if you have, if you were going to combine like terms, you need only to count how many number of terms that is also in respect to its um to its um sign no so let's have another example for that one so we just use another color here for example b no we have this one b minus b minus 2b my plus 4b okay so if you are going to combine this one, you need to um, see the symbol. No, for this one, this is positive. This is negative. So you have uh, this. This re re represent as one. So you have one minus one that will be equal to zero. This will re represent as two. No, we have two b here. So our two b are two. Uh, which are the symbols for that one are all negative no so if we're going to extract this one no? we're going to do that one on a 
on in terms of b you know so you have b minus b minus so you have two b so b minus b that is for this one then you have plus b plus b plus b plus b that is for four b okay so you have this one so you have one two three so you have three negative and you have one two three four five so you have five positive b so that will be five minus three and you will have the answer as two b or the other way for this was to simplify or to combine this one is just to um to interpret this one as a number so for example this is one b so you have one minus one minus two plus four so you have one minus one that will be zero so negative two plus four that will be equal to two and you just put here the b no That is how you are going to interpret this one. Because, for example, this one here, if you have a symbol, no? B. So, in algebra, we have there the parts of a algebraic symbol. So, this is the literal coefficient, which is the symbol, no? It is the symbol which is represented by any number. While this one, because uh, as you can see, we don't have any here, but that... But by default, that is equal to 1. No? This is the numeral coefficient, okay. which stands for how many counts or how many times you will multiply the uh, given symbol or the given value of the symbol. So for example, if you have, we will have this one in a new slide here. Okay. For example, you have this one is as um, 3B. No? 3B. So, your, your numerical coefficient no, is 3. Then, your literal coefficient is B. No? So, if your value of B is equal to 2, then this 2 here will be multiplied by 3. Or you will add 2 by itself 3 times. Or just 3 times 2 to interpret 1. And we'll have an answer of 6. This will be your value so the the literal coefficient will be the symbol that represents any value or any number while your three is the numerical or the numer um, numerical coefficient with which will indicate what value or what number you will multiply to the uh, to the symbol or to the value of the symbol one once it is given okay then we go on again to another operation no? of an algebraic expression or an, uh, on a algebraic symbol. So we have that one here. So that is one of how we are going to interpret. No? That is the numerical and the literal coefficients. Then we have this one. No? For example, we have... 2a plus 3b minus oh no plus 2a minus 2b no so this one by combining like terms we could simplify this one or no? this um this this algebraic equation no or sometimes we call that one as algebraic expression. So we have 2 here, 2a, and 1a here. So that will be 2 plus 1. That will be 3a. Then we have 3b and negative 2 or minus 2b. So that is 3 minus 2. So you just look at the numerical coefficient. If you if you can now uh, see the, the, the similar terms no? or the terms having the same literal coefficients. You have 3 minus 2. That will be 1. So, 1 plus B. This is now the simplified equation for this one. Okay? The next, we will have this one here, no? 4A, B, C, D. So, you have three symbols, no? Or three, lit, uh, four, sorry for that, four literal coefficients and a numerical or a numerical coefficients of four, no? Or four here, one, no? So, how do we interpret this one? So it will only mean that you have to 
have you need you need to multiply four by the product of a times b times c times d so everything will be multiplied with each other no given their product no how about if they are all just this one no we we have our new numerical coefficient equal to one so what does it mean so you just multiply all the values of the symbol a I forgot the b no? so just erase this one okay so you have a times b times c times d no? so that is how you are going to interpret that one okay the next one so we have a new uh, space here the next one will be this one here okay so you have that one this is one of uh, sometimes we call this one as the reflexive property no because um, it also applied in in multiplication for example if for this statement a times b is equals to b times b times a so for example if you let your value of a equal to 3 and b is equal to 2 then we will use that one no so you have uh, a b is equals to b a so improving that one we have 3 times 2 for this part here so we just substitute their given value which is equal to 2 times 3 so that will be 6 is equal to 6 and this is true so meaning this property here no matter how how you arrange your symbol the actual value of that given uh, given equation will be the same especially if they are uh, being multiplied among each other so this is really applicable to multiplication and addition so for example if we have a plus b is equal to b plus a so it is the same no having the same value we have three plus two is equals to two plus three now we just interchange the arrangement so that will be equal to five equal to five no that is the same no then another one we will go to the to the use of exponents no especially if you are now involving algebraic equations no okay so we have b times b that will be equal to b squared okay so this is how you will interpret in in terms if you will be given or in in some cases you'll be given with this type of symbol for example you have b cube so that only means you need to multiply b by itself three times so b times b times b usually in algebra we will use a uh, period as a symbol of multiplication to avoid confusion with the symbol uh, for multiplication which is x because we could also use x as a symbol for another value no so for example we have b to the fourth so that will be b times b times b times b no so that is how you are going to interpret this um, principle here no so for example we have a cube b squared so that is just a times a times a times b times b okay that is how we are going to interpret the basic operations of algebra now we will go to the one of its applications or one of its the uh, the operations involving um, algebraic expression and that will be addition subtraction and multiplication okay so first we'll go to addition so in addition again the very first thing that we have discussed no, is about combining like terms so for example if you have here we need to find the sum of these um, expressions here or these equations here so 4x 3x minus 2x and the last one will be negative x so we need to find the sum no so first you check if they have the same literal coefficient so they are all x so because we are going to find the sum so we just add this one so 4x plus 3x plus negative 2x plus minus x so as you can see 
I put a parenthesis on our uh, on the um, equations, no, or in the expression which involves negative, because I use the uh, plus sign here, meaning that we are really ge getting the sum of these expressions. So we are really adding those expressions. So to say to simplify this further, so we have four x plus three x. Then we have plus times negative. No, or positive times negative that will be negative 2x and that will be negative x so you have 4x plus 3x or 4 plus 3 that will be 7 then you have minus 2x so that will be minus 2 so 7 minus 2 that will be 5 then minus 1 that will be equal to 4 so your answer here will be equal to 4x okay so again you just Add the numeral coefficient or the, or the numerical coefficients. Then you just copy the literals. We have 4 plus 3, 7 minus 2, that will be equal to 5, minus 4, a uh, minus 1, that will be equal to 4. Then just copy the literal coefficients, which is x. Okay. So for example, if you are going to subtract, no? subtraction so again the rule will be the same you you only subtract those um, terms which has the same literal coefficient so that the, the that is one of the principle of our first no? this one here the combining like where is that one slide the okay the combining like terms no so on, in order for you to know if those terms are similar or not, or they are like terms, so you uh, see their literal coefficients. No? If they have the same literal coefficients, then you could combine those terms. No? But there is also another limitation for that one, no? which we will be discussing uh, later on another example. No? Okay, so let's just have this example here. So we are now given with this... Um, these terms here so 3b okay we need to find the difference okay find the difference so we have here we have here 3a minus 2a so because we are going to have dif to find the difference, no? Minus negative seven a minus no. I believe we could not have this one, no, because we need first to establish what is the one that we are going to be subtracting with, no? So this is a maybe this example is uh, somewhat uh, not, no? Uh, not applicable or not following the um, some of the mathematical laws of our arithmetic okay so we just uh, revise that example so subtract 4a to 3a plus 7a So subtract 4a to 3a plus 7a. Of course, we could have this one no, as, as combined. No? So how we are going to do that is, for example, we have 3a plus 7a. This is an, a group of expression. We need to subtract. No? Subtract 4a to this expression. So that will be minus 4a. So we have 3a plus 7a. That will be 10a. Then minus 4a. And we will have 6 a. So, in addition and subtraction of algebraic expression or terms, we need also to know or to remember that addition is just the inverse of subtraction or the, the subtractive inverse of, of subtraction. And subtraction is just the additive inverse of addition. So, meaning they are just um, the reverse operation of each other. So, when, when, when you are going to add, so you add, if you are going to subtract or, or to find the difference so you are deducting something from the number so they are just inverse operation 
with its spec to each other. Okay, so if we will have now this example here, no? okay, this is a very tricky example. No? 3x squared plus 7x plus 9x cubed. No? Then we need to subtract Subtract to 9x squared plus 7x minus 10x cubed. Okay. So, we need to subtract 3x squared plus 7x plus 9x cubed. No? We need to subtract that one. No? Subtract to or subtracted to um, 9x squared plus 7x minus 10x cubed. Okay. As you can see, we have the same literal coefficient. So, our literal coefficient for this given are all x. No? Okay. So, we just write that one. The, the equations for the, or the expression for this one, no? for this problem. So, we have, we need to subtract this um, expression or this algebraic equation here from this one. No? Or this algebraic expression here from this one. So we have 9x squared plus 7x minus 10x cubed. No? Then we need to subtract that one. So we, we just put here a parenthesis because they will be considered as a group. No? 3x squared plus 7x plus 9x cubed. Okay. So if we are going to to uh, put our negative sign here inside this group. So we will have 9x squared plus 7x minus 10x cubed minus 3x squared plus 7x plus 9. No. Sorry for that. This will be negative times positive. That will be negative. No. Sorry for that one. Okay. This will be negative. And this one also will be another negative. No? Because negative times positive, that will be negative. 9x cubed. So, you will say that uh, because we are just combining like terms, and the terms or the literal coefficient is the basis of combining the terms, or, may, or, uh, or, or determining if the terms are like, so you just see the literal coefficient. So, all of them are x, so we could directly combine this one. Okay. So there is there, there is a catch for that one. There is an exception. Aside from looking if the terms or the the literal coefficients are alike, you must also uh, consider their exponent. So the criteria for making or for determining if the terms are alike is that they have the same or equal literal coefficients no? and their exponents no exponents must be equal also okay so if if your literal co co uh, coefficient is x so if that is x squared so the terms that have x squared for it are are the terms that are alike it is not alike with x nor x cubed. Okay? So that is how you are going to find like terms, no? Find like terms. And if you can find the like terms, you can now um, combine them. Okay? So as you can see, so we have here all of them having a literal coefficients of x, but they have different exponents. Okay? So maybe I just um, delete this one no? so that we could have space here. Okay. Okay. So let's just have this one. Okay. So we have now. Okay. So we will now have two. 
determine which of those of uh, these terms are like no or are like with each other okay so the very first thing to do is to um to group no those terms which are like also copying their um their signs and interpreting them as a sum no sum so when we say sum addition no so first we need to copy so uh, not uh, not considering the arrangement of the exponents no or the degree of our terms first we have this one 9 x squared so we have another x squared here that will be negative this one 3 x squared so that is another group then you add that one to 7x no 7x so this is also another negative 7x okay then you add we have negative 10x cube then that will be 9x cube okay so for this one you must always copy their sign no their sign then you just add so we will consider them as addition because we are combining like terms but in reality they are um, uh, the uh, the operation that we are doing is subtraction no from this first um, uh, expression or this is mathematical statement alone so we have already subtracted this one then we're just combining the like terms out from the result of our subtraction okay so we have 9 minus 6 uh, 9 minus 3 that will be 6 you just copy the the coefficient here so between 9 6x uh, squared then we have 7 minus 7 will be 0 so we don't have uh, 0 no see or we have 0 as an answer so that will be 0x then plus we have negative 10x cubed minus 9x cubed so that will be negative 19 no? negative 19x cubed okay so for this one this will just be equal to zero because zero times x so any number or any symbol or any expression multiplied by zero that is the golden rule one of the golden rule of mathematics any number multiplied by zero is equal to zero any expressions or any um equation which is multiplied by zero the answer will be equal to zero because if you multiply nothing to something the answer will be nothing okay so we just arrange this one no? arrange the the expression having the um, highest exponent so that will be negative 19 x cubed so we just drop the positive or we could have that one as positive times negative that will be negative this will be positive so plus 6 x okay so this will now be our answer okay so that will be all for this video no so we have tackled about the, con the basic concepts of algebra and this addition and subtraction of algebraic terms no and the next video we will be uh, doing multiplication no multiplication and uh, division division of division of algebraic expression or or algebraic terms okay so thank you for watching this video i hope you understand something and as always enjoy learning